What's up everybody, I'm Brian from Iowa and Tesla and I am upgrading my speakers in my car again. I've done this before, I have some upgraded speakers already and they're, a, they're an improvement from the factory speakers. And you know, Tesla puts a good sound system in their cars to begin with, but there's room for improvement. Usually there's always room for improvement. So I'm about to install the speakers, well, for the install for the video, but I've already installed them. And I brought my friend Nick over so we can hear the difference between his stock Model 3 speakers. I think it's gonna be huge. It's a yeah. huge difference. So what I've got is a bunch of copyrighted, well, not I pay for this music, on this thumb drive. So we're gonna listen to it in his car and you guys can hear it as well. And then we're gonna jump into mine and really hear the difference. I wanna get your reaction. This is, I think, I think it's huge. That's crazy. So let's go jump in your yeah. car. Uh, plugged in and now, if you download music and put it on a thumb drive, it's gonna sound better than streaming altogether. So it's gonna sound good in here. And Tesla does have a good system, but there can be upgrades. So let's go to the first one here. So it's pretty good sound. Yeah. Nice bass, again, it's downloaded. A lot of bass. Yep. I have it tuned. That's, I think, where Tesla lacks a lot. Yeah. Is, is it's, the bass. It's pretty good, but there's crackling. You yep. can hear a little bit of crackling with it. It's not as clean. Nope. It's starting to break up. So it's pretty good. Tesla does make a good system, but let me show you. All right. All right, so I jumped in the passenger seat, your suggestion. So it's the same same experience, but different speakers. Now these speakers are quite a bit different. So we're gonna play the same music, and my settings are very similar to yours, although my, my sub level's quite a bit down from yours. Yep. Don't break up on the high ends. Wow. There's more depth to the bass too. It is. Things aren't breaking up, it's clearer. And you've got your bass turned down significantly from what I have mine at, so and I, you're getting way better bass response. Oh yeah, and this is low too. It doesn't break, it won't break up all the way up to the top. Yeah. Which is too much of this rattling. Yeah. I can feel that sub in the back of my seat. Yeah. That's impressive. The separation of instruments that this system provides is huge. Yeah. I'm extremely happy with this. This is door speakers. It is these speakers here and the three up front. That's where you get most of your sound from and the subwoofer back there. So it is, it's an easy system to install in a Model Y because everything's open. The hardest thing is that center speaker, but it, it's a huge difference. Yeah, as a musician, I, that was one thing I loved about my Tesla was that it comes with a premium audio system compared to other different cars. And for me to hear the difference between what I thought was really great to begin with to the potential that I could get to, I mean, it's night and day. Night and day. That's great. Well, there you go. You should get it. Now, if you want to watch the install, that's later on in the video. But you just, just go order it and then come back to this video for the install once it shows up to your house. Yeah, there you go. It's like... 70s police chase music. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> On the set of chips. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, so what I've got 
are the three front speakers, the two door speakers, and a subwoofer. Now these are all Alpine speakers. They are amazing speakers. And they've also done some extra things here. So to, ma to make these speakers work, they 3D printed some brackets that'll fit here. So the new subwoofer, the new more powerful subwoofer can fit in the factory enclosure. Same thing with the front speakers here. The three front speakers are mounted to this 3D printed bracket and oh my gosh, these things are enormous. The magnets on these are enormous compared to what's there. They also 3D printed a door uh, mount. So this is a little smaller than what the factory is, but the magnet is probably four times or five times as big as what the factory one is. Even the aftermarket ones that I have on there already. These things are going to sound so good. Oh, I also have new tweeters as well. These are super nice tweeters. They're a lot heavier than the factory ones, so it means the magnet's that much bigger. So you're going to get that much more sound. All right, I know you can't see me, but I'm going to show you the speakers, the difference. You can see this is a little smaller speaker. That's why they have made this cone, a 3D printed cone to, to fit. But the difference is this is the magnet in the factory speaker and this, my goodness. The bigger the magnet, the more travel you can have, which means more movement of the speaker itself. So which is gonna put, it, put out more sound waves and put out more air flow, which is gonna give you more sound. Plus the way this is constructed, this Alpine speaker is just going to be that much cleaner. This is just a paper cone. This is a carbon cone with um, attention to detail. Obviously it's Alpine, it's a very good speaker. This is gonna sound 10 times better. And if you just replace these, and this is one of the front three speakers. They're, these are right up on the windshield, so it's a little different. It's hard to get to the middle one, but right here is a huge difference again. This tiny magnet, this feels so light. The difference in weight of these things is like, this is like four times the weight of this. And it's not affecting anything in your car as far as weight goes, but the sound quality is gonna be that much more. I mean. That's ridiculous, the size. And you have three of these things up front. This is where a lot of sound comes from. Let's get to the factory subwoofer. Look how small that magnet is. That's hilarious. Once you see this Alpine subwoofer, that's ridiculous. This thing is going to sound amazing. I can't wait to get this in the car. I mean, this is super light. This is a beast. This is definitely going to sound <laughs> amazing. Let's just, let's just start. Let's just start taking stuff out and put the new stuff in. So you saw that door was not very hard to do. It's just that one door speaker down here and then the tweeter. The tweeter, you, you get this foam, you get this foam to wrap around the tweeter. So because the, the tweeter that comes with the Tesla is, uh, has some tabs that just kind of hold in place. So if you ever break this off, it doesn't really break off, it just comes off. So you have that foam to go around that. And you saw I took this ring and put it around the inside of the foam. So inside the door panel. So now it's going to concentrate the air and the noise out of this door panel itself and it kind of help with vibration as well. Uh, so now at this point, I'm going to do the other door just like that, uh, just like this one. And then we're going to move to these speakers here because it takes a little bit of uh, finagling to get to those speakers and I'll show you that. What we want to do is we want to pull this this tab off which is right down here. You can't see it from there. But we, then we want to get our hand up into here and we want to just clip, unclip this. Now when you do that, you wiggle. There's another little clip up here that we want to pull off. It's this little tab here. You don't have to pull that off but it makes your life easier if you do. Then you can wiggle this out. There's nothing in this at all, but there is an airbag there. You want to be careful of that. Uh, and then you're going to do the same thing over there. You're not going to have this cord here. This is a cord for my controller up here for my air ride system. But we want to take that off because we need to take this panel off all the way across. We're going to do the same thing over on that side, but there's this, the speakers here. It's hard to get to. There's three screws in each one. 
and I'll show you the tool you need for all of them except for one screw. It's just clips, plastic clips. All right, so what I have here is a right angle, little, a tiny little socket that fits in there. And I have a T15 bit that seems to fit. So I'm gonna scoot up as much as possible and start taking these off. It's not too difficult for these. Those three are out. We lift the speaker up out of there and we disconnect it. You can't see it, but this far one is really tough to get to. Even this doesn't reach it. So what you have to do is just use this with some pliers and try to back that out and do your best. It's, it's probably the hardest part of this whole thing, but it's gonna be well worth it. Just so you see what I'm talking about, there are the three screws here, and then that screw, that screw are easy, but it's this one here is really tough because it's so close to the glass. This speaker you don't have to remove, it's just these, these three. All right, so before I put these speakers in, I'm going to take <coughs> this foam and go all the way around this so it sits on there so there's less vibration. And the factory ones actually have a little bit of foam there, so I wanna put some foam on this so it's kind of the same. It's not gonna hurt anything. Uh, plus they gave us so much, I'm assuming that's what, they, that's what it's here for. Perfect. Now these go back in the same way the other ones came out. So all three of those speakers are in. You probably could leave out that screw um, once, because those other two go in tight. You might hear some rattling, but you probably won't because of the foam that we put there. So a lot of people probably wouldn't put that in there, but I'm excited to hear this. I'm gonna hold off. It's gonna be hard to hold off until I get that subwoofer put in because, I mean, if you're not a base head or if you don't want a ton of base, this is probably all you need, but the subwoofer is gonna tie all this together and this is gonna sound so awesome. It's gonna, I, I can't wait. So I'm gonna put the panels back together, put everything ready to go for the sub tomorrow and uh, I'll see you tomorrow morning. So now to remove the subwoofer. You do need to remove quite a bit of stuff. So you need to remove the amp. There's three bolts under, or there's three bolts, one here, here and underneath and you just remove the, the wiring. This is the only connection to the speaker. You just unplug that. There's a bolt here. There's a bolt behind there. And there's one right here. And then this can come out. All right, so now it's time for the subwoofer. So what we have is uh, a connection that matches the connector on the stock one. And it's the four wires. And they need to be black, red, blue, and green in that order. Just to, you wanna double check that to make sure. We're gonna take the, that speaker off, but first we're gonna prep. So I'm gonna take this foam material and go around both sides of this bracket like we did the other stuff. All right, that side, what that does is keeps the air sealed up inside for better sound. So what we wanna do here is once we put the, the black felt on here, we're not gonna be able to see the holes. So we wanna know where a couple of them are. So we're gonna, I'm gonna mark a couple of them, a couple of them here, and then the rest, I don't need to mark them because I know where they're gonna be because those will line up. What we wanna do is the logo and the terminals, we want at the bottom. So the top has the double holes, line up those holes, and then we're going to mount it in the in the enclosure. Now let's go over some of the, let's go over the wiring. The black and the blue are positive, the red and the green are negative. And of course they're th labeled this way. This is a dual cone, I believe they call it. The, um, so we're gonna hook up both of these to it to get a four ohm system. So we're gonna trim back a little bit more than what's here because this is not enough. That's like an eighth of an inch. Uh, and all you have to do is just push down on here set the wire in place and it's solid. Even though this thing shakes a lot, it is definitely solid. So you wanna do it in this order as you're looking at it, red, black, green, and blue. And then I have shrink wrap tubing here so when I put it down through, um, nothing gets bound up. All right, so now we have all these on here. Everything is tight, so be careful because this is 3D printed, you can strip them out. Um, but they do go down quite tight. Now, and remember, the double holes are on top, so the cord's out the bottom. I can hold this up and then snake it around through that channel 
so things don't get bound up. Hook it up the same way you took the other one off, and then enjoy.